First I use uh, four coffee cups because I think that's what the amount of uh, onions that I can plant in my gallon uh, container. I need to punch some holes in the bottom. I've made this little wood punch jig, two inch hole uh, uh, using the cups on the top and then taper on the sides. So I can punch some holes right I use a fair size hole because the uh, onions have quite substantial root system. So I punch a couple of holes in here. So the holes are punched, it's that easy. So next I need to fill these cups with hydroponic media. So in this case I use sawdust inoculated with vermicompost. Here's my sawdust and vermicompost. I will be uh, filling these coffee cups with that. Now that's done, so I need to drill a hole or holes into my gallon container. The plastic is opaque and I think that was important. Using a straight edge, just go across and make an X. This does not need to be very precise. Now, to drill the hole, you need to be pretty close to the edge here and on the line for the center. And of course, this bites quite a bit. So, four holes cut. The hole size is two and a half inches. The coffee cup sits nicely in it. Sits about uh, an inch from the top. This needs to be filled with hydroponic solution. I do have some prepared but it's been inoculated with vermicompost tea so you will be unable to see the true color of what the solution looks like. I fill my water until the water reaches the bottom of the paper cup and touches the paper cup. You see the inside just touches or is just a little bit over my paper cup bottom. Now I just insert the prepared paper cups with sawdust. And now I'm ready to plant.
some recycled onions because I have some onions which have been used before and they're ready to be planted. In my vermicomposting I sometimes am giving onions which I can't put because uh, they stink. So I will be using the onions into my uh, hydroponic. So I'm going to try to grow these onions. So use the roots. Just put it on top. And I'll be putting a little sawdust on top just so it doesn't smell. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be tracking the progress, see if the experiment fails or not. The onions were put at the base of my large 500 watt grow lamp and we'll monitor the progress as it grows so see you next week